Welcome to my new video. In this video I will show you how to launch SAP using VB.NET code. First we need the SAP credentials, which are stored in Orchestrator. We pick this up with the activity, Get Credential. Write the asset name as it is in Orchestrator. Create a variable for password. This is of the type, secure string. Create a variable for username. This is of type, string. For the code we need the password as a string, so we convert the secure string password to string password. This is done with this code. We need other variables as well. I'm going to create all of these now. First a variable for the path of the SAP. This is always standard. Then a variable to save the connection string so that SAP can be started. A variable for the client. It's client 10 in my case. A variable for the language. It's English in my case. A variable for the system we want to start. In my case it is system P2Z. All the necessary variables have now been created. Now write the connecting string. It looks like this. Add an invoke code activity. Make sure the programming language is vb.net. Create the following arguments. Application that gets the SAP path. Arguments that contain the connection string for SAP. Write the following code. If we have no arguments, we start SAP directly through the path. But if we have arguments, then we use them. Then we do a sleep of 5 seconds. Now the code is ready and we can run it. As you can see, SAP P2Z has started. 
SAP has now started. We are in the P2Z system. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel to see more videos.